G'day guys, I'm um, back at the table here with my um, F550 Hex Copter. Um, I've got a new battery, it's arrived, so this is what I'm going to run in it. Um, it's a 7500 mAh 35C 3-cell LiPo, and uh, I want to do an auto-tune on this before we go out there. I've been waiting to do the auto-tune because I want to get this battery and it's a little bit heavier than uh, the previous batteries I had. I was using 3300 milliamps. So, so what, I, what else I've done, we've got the VTX on there now. I've got a camera on the front, so I might even try and get you some, a little bit of onboard footage with this, uh, with this tune. So what we'll do now is we'll log in. I'll log into Mission Planner, and um, I'll just show you how we're set up. Right, so Mission Planner is set up. Um, I've just got to plug the USB cable in here first. Just bear with me here. So that's booting up. Guys, if you ever do this and you're going to connect your battery, take your props off because you do not want something this size to take off on you while you're in the house or in the garage and end up with it in your face. So word of warning, guys, if you ever do it, take your props off. I'm not connecting the battery up, so... I'm not worrying too much about that, but take your props off if you connect your battery up. Okay, so I've set the transmitter up here to uh, activate to activate my auto tune. Should be on this button auto -tune. here. So that's my button there to activate auto tune. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take off in stable mode, which is what I'm in here. I will get up to a height, then we'll put it into altitude hold. Altitude hold. Like that. And once I'm in altitude hold, I'll then flick auto tune. That switch down to activate the auto tune. And what will happen, you'll see the craft rock from side to side, left to right, left to right. It'll continually do that, um, finding its limitations and uh, basically, it's basically tuning it. So. You let it do its thing until it stops, land, and then disarm while you're in auto tune if you're happy with the, the way it's flying, um, and then it will save itself once you've disarmed. So, what, what I've done is if I connect up, um, and what we'll do is go into the, um, I'll show you a few things first. Configuration tab, I meant to mention this. Go to your parameter tree. Now, before you've done your uh, auto-tune, there's a couple of things you've got to keep in mind as well. Um, it all depends on how long your flight, your craft can fly for. So if you go into the auto-tune uh, parameter here and un open that up, come into auto-tune axes, right? So it lets you basically tune all if you want. Select seven in this box here. And that'll tune all, all the axes, roll, pitch, your roll and pitch, and it takes a long time. That was the problem I had in my first, um, my first auto tune. It just wasn't finishing in the battery frame, battery uh, time frame that I had. We're going to go into the configuration tab, uh, into the extended tuning. Is it? I think it's the extended tuning first. So what I've had to do, you have to assign a switch to auto altitude hold, which I've done. And in this section here, um, I've assigned my uh, channel 7 to auto tune. They need to be on separate switches. So if I head across here to uh, the setup tab here, mandatory hardware, go down to my radio calibration table here. All my modes, stable mode, altitude mode, and loiter. loiter, which is, it just holds its position. Stability's mode. They're all set to radio 12, right? That's the default channel for Express LRS, which is what this is running. So I will select altitude hold when I'm up in the air. Altitude hold. And you'll see how that moves up. That, that way I know that radio 12 there, channel 12 has received that information. We will then hit the auto tune. Auto tune. Which should be uh, channel 7, which is this one here. 
So I'll flick out of auto tune, you'll see it move. Flick back into auto tune. Auto tune. And there it is. So I know it's working. Let's head out to the field and do a tune. Alright guys, here we are. I've just uh, armed everything. We've got 17 satellites. So let's get her up in the air before the wind picks up. There's a little bit of wind around. I don't like doing it with wind. So what we're going to do is stick it into altitude hold. Altitude hold. Bring it back a little bit and then we'll stick it into auto tune. Auto tune. Alright. You can see how it's rocking left and right. That's what it's tuning. That's that's how it tunes. picking up a bit now which is a pain in the last video it was yawing it was wanting to turn to the left or right and it had more of a wobble to it So I'm not making it go left and right, that's the auto-tune. You can move it, I can move it back to me, it disrupts the auto-tune for, for a moment and then it will continue again. Okay, Four minutes. that's pretty much it. I'm going to bring it up and take it back down. See how it lands and then we'll disarm. Last time it was a lot more unsteady coming down. It's a lot more stable now from what I can see after its tune. So it's landing by itself, this is a return to home and it will turn itself off once it hits the ground, perfect.
there you go. So that's the auto tune done. So I disarm it, and that'll save the settings. Okay, I'll um, take it up again and we'll just I'll flick it out of auto tune. And I'll put it in a stable mode. I'll take it for a little fly manually now and see how it feels. A lot more stable now. And that's um, in loiter, so it's holding its position there. We've got a little bit of wind behind us. It's doing a fairly good job there, holding its position. You can see it fighting the wind a bit. But it's not moving, and that's... Um, it's fairly well locked in there. I'll switch it back into stable mode and we'll land. Now we're back into stable mode. I'll take it for 10 minutes. It doesn't look like I'm going to get much more than 10 minutes out of this battery, unfortunately. It's a very uh, disappointing... A bit disappointing that it's only 10 minutes, but anyway. It's a test platform this is and we'll look at furthering the, the uh, time the time it can go. Okay, so that's our 10 minutes almost up now. There we go, we'll bring it down. That's 10 minutes on this battery. I'm back at the bench, and that was our successful, it seemed to be successful anyway, auto tune. It was flying nicely at the end and felt a lot better than it did um, on its first flight. I'll just check this battery and just see what we've got left. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see it properly. Um, it's showing 3.8 volts, so I still had time. So, hmm. So we did 10 minutes, but we've still got 3.85 volts left, so we might have got 12 minutes out of it, maybe. Um, this battery here is a 35C rating So maybe it might have paid to go up a higher C rating to a 65 maybe Maybe I'll get another one of these or a bit higher capacity again and get it in a 65C Then we'll see what sort of We'll see what sort of flight times we can get out of it then um, I'm about to do the pitch tune next so I'll select pitch so it's going to go forward back forward back forward back until that completes that'll be the next one so complete that auto axis is 2 which is pitch only okay and we will write the parameters 
to the drone. So next auto tune will do the pitch and then after that I'll do the yaw and that's kind of pretty much the tune completed. Um, another thing, if we go back into data and we go into our data flash logs. Okay, we'll download, this downloads the data from the drone to uh, the computer. So download data via Mavlink. And basically you select your, your flight that you've done. It'll have a date in this box here. I've cleared this, but it'll have a date in the box here. So download the selected log. It'll download. Once it's downloaded, you can close this and then what you'll do is go to auto analysis and that'll open up the window it's downloaded it to so select your craft which is a hex rotor for me so if i click select that i select that this was the flight i did so i'll show you that one click on that and click open and what that's going to do now is is uh, analyze the, f the flight um, it'll tell me of any issues that i have It'll tell me if the auto-tune is completed. And this is how I knew it wasn't completed when I first did it. So if you're unsure, you can always come into the uh, log analyzer here and, and check it out. Okay, so here we are. This is opened up. Now if I go into auto-tune, which is here, it's showing here that it's good, which means the... Um, tune for my role was worked and was completed if um, it wasn't completed it will it'll come up with failed or unknown and you'll know whether it's done or not so in this case it's been completed because it says good uh, if I go down to my other tests I've got brown out which is good the test compass fail uh, that's got me a bit concerned because that's something I'm going to be looking at a large change in the mag field so I'll, I'll, I'll probably pick that one up next when we um, finish the auto tune. So that's pretty much it, guys, for the auto tune. That's everything else in a, in a nutshell, kind of. Enjoy your flying. See you, guys.